Apple previewed iOS 26, the next version of iPhone software at WWDC 2025. And no, you're not hearing that wrong. It's got a new name, a new look, and a lot more. This is All Things Mobile. Let's jump in. Last year, we got Apple Intelligence. The year before that, the company unveiled the Vision Pro. And this year, Apple renamed its software and made them look more unified. It might not sound as big a deal as previous years, but if you hoped Apple would talk more about software and less about AI, then this was your year. The theme at this year's WWDC is consistency. Consistency in terms of what an Apple user sees on their devices and consistency in terms of overall experience. And iOS 26 is a great example of this. Now here are all the big features you should know and a couple smaller ones that I'm excited for about iOS 26. Apple stopped a sequential number of iOS versions. Last year we had iOS 18 and you'd have thought that this year's version would be iOS 19 but no, Apple is calling the version of iPhone software iOS 26, a reference to the fact that updates to the software will start this year and end up into next year, 2026. iOS 26, like all of Apple's OSs, has a new look called Liquid Glass. By the way, Liquid Glass was the name of my goth Philip Glass cover band in college. The new interface brings a clean, transparent look and glisten across iOS 26. Liquid Glass reflects and refracts its surroundings, reducing distractions to the content you're looking at and adding a contemporary polish for controls, navigation, app icons, widgets, and more. The new design extends to the home screen and lock screen. And what's cool is that the same look can be found in watchOS, tvOS, macOS, and even CarPlay. So as you switch between your Apple devices, you have a more consistent experience. Also, how cool do those transparent controls and apps look? Seriously. To help keep group chats less chaotic for multiple responses to a question in a thread, there is now the ability to create polls inside the Messages app. In fact, one of Apple Intelligence's new abilities is that it can suggest a poll. So, for example, maybe you're trying to find a spot to meet with your chat friends for dinner. Apple Intelligence would recognize the context of your messages from people's responses and suggest using a poll. It's similar to what's found in other messaging apps like WhatsApp and only works in group chats. You can also add custom backgrounds for your chats. Another feature can better detect spam text and screen unknown numbers. So the messages you see in the app are the ones you want to see and not the ones that distract you. Messages supports another new Apple intelligence feature, live translation. The tool uses on-device Apple models for the translation and works in messages, FaceTime calls, and phone conversations. Over the last five years, Apple has added a lot of functionality to the camera app, but it's come at the cost of the simplicity that Apple's camera app was known for. Well, that changes now. The overhaul to the camera app makes it easier to navigate. The streamlined design has two main controls, video or camera, and you swipe left or right to choose different modes like portrait mode and cinematic mode. Swipe up for settings such as aspect ratios, timers, and tap for additional preferences. The new camera app looks so empty now, and that's fine with me. There's a new games app that acts as a specific portal to Apple Arcade and other third-party games. Yes, you can get those from the App Store, but the games app is designed to remove a layer of friction so you can get straight to that fun gaming action. Here's a quick list that I made up of some other notable iOS 26 additions. First, visual intelligence now lets you search what's on your screen. The time on the lock screen adapts to whatever image you have set for your lock screen. And last, you can use your AirPods as a camera remote. The preview app that's been on your Mac for years is now coming to your iPhone. You can use it to read, edit, and annotate PDFs. The phone app got a glow up and it looks more modern. There's a new scrollable layout that shows recent calls, contact favorites, and voicemails all in one screen. But Apple added some very Google Pixel-like features, which is a good thing. This call screening feature automatically answers calls from unknown numbers, and your phone rings only when the caller shares their name and reason for calling. There's also Hold Assist that automatically detects hold music on a call and can mute the music but keep the call connected. Once a live agent becomes available, the phone rings and lets the agent know that you'll be available shortly. 
iOS 26 brings a sophisticated and contemporary feel to iPhone software. And the fact that it's more consistent and unified across all Apple devices will only benefit the people who own them. There is a lot more to iOS 26, so please make sure to check out CNET for more info. Now, some important things to know, iOS 26 will launch this fall and is available right now as a developer beta. The public beta version will be available in July, and you need an iPhone 11 or newer to use iOS 26. If you wanted to give iOS 26 a spin before it's released, I recommend waiting for the public beta version, and even then, I would not recommend running it on your main iPhone. So that's all I've got for you. What do you think of iOS 26? Let me know in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more All Things Mobile. Lastly, thank you for watching.